Ya. Ya. The same example? Yeah. The same correct example? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I mean, creativity is nice. But that's okay. but, go ahead. So I just write. Yep. So tell us what's wrong, first of all. Um, what's wrong is that the negative wasn't distributed evenly. It was only distributed to the X, but not the B. Okay. So they didn't distribute the negative three correctly. So to save time, don't worry about writing on here what's wrong. Let's just show a correct example. So how would how would you do that correctly? Okay, I would do. So, okay, that'll work just fine. Okay, so tell what the, the what the problem is. Um, mm -hmm. If you need to elaborate a little bit, that would be fine, and then show a correct example. That happens to be the same example right there. If you wanted to make something up with numbers, that would be okay. This is a gigantic mistake. This happens all the time. So please make sure you're very careful with negatives and very careful with subtraction. Make sure you distribute through correctly. Very good. Okay. All right, Sarah, you're the next one here. So can you tell us what they did wrong here? Okay, so Sarah says you have to foil it. This is also a very common mistake. Um, go ahead and show us. Um, in my calculus class, so what would be the correct way to do that? Okay, so let, let's start off with this. What does it mean when we square this? Um, B times B. Okay, and it, it means that we have two of those, yeah. right? Okay, so go ahead and multiply those together. Um, in my calculus class, the last couple of days we've been doing, this is a tiny part of a calculus problem. And this mistake happens all the time. They say a plus b squared, and then just square the a squared b and add them together. That's wrong because we get a middle term there. And what we get? Okay. So we're going to do a times a, right? Yeah. Then what? Then b times b. Add uh, a times b. Okay. A times b, and then those guys right there. So you're going to have four terms all together. Okay. And what could we do to make that a little more clear? What's what's this one? Okay. Okay, so that one's a squared, and what should go in between here? Okay. So plus a b, and then that one's a plus a b, and then that one's a plus b squared, and then what would you do? And then we do a b squared. Okay, what, what's the word for what we do next, or the phrase for what we do next? Combine like terms, right? So okay. are any of those like terms? The ABs. The ABs, okay? So you've got an A squared, mm -hmm. just one of those. How many ABs do you have? Two. Two. So we have plus two ABs. Oh. Yeah, so that's that good. And then plus B squared, okay? That's the right way to do it. Okay? And what people Ooh. forget, so you've got to be careful with that, okay? So what people forget is that middle term right there. You do get an A squared, you do get a B squared, but they miss that 2AB part. Um, and if it was a minus, uh, this would just be a minus 2AB. Remember, that's that uh, perfect square trinomial formula. Okay. And then we've got Sven. Sven's going to show us how to do this next one. So what, what's the problem with that? In this problem, they didn't factor in the... Uh, denominator when they were multiplying, so they kept it the same. Mm -hmm. so what's the correct way to do that? Uh, okay. So that's a one-fourth AB, right? Okay, they multiplied the A and the B together, but they just said, hey, this is a one-half and that's a one-half, so we'll just leave that. One-half times one-half is one-fourth AB, okay? Uh, Raymond, you're up next. What happened here? So Raymond believes it was because what? Um, yeah, I do get down to oh yeah that's why these things never work. okay um so it's because 
the squared part of it, you can't, it's two different things. When you do 3x plus, oh, this is fun. Anyhow, when you do these three, um, it's, when the three is factored out, it's a completely different thing. And also, you you need two different things to factor it. It just doesn't cooperate. So, this is the toughest one so far. Sometimes it's really hard to explain. And explain. Yeah, and okay. we're tired. I'll just What's the try it out. Um, so, if the well, technically the right way to do it would be you need, this is weird, um, you need either an x and a 2 or something like that if you wanted to do it correctly that way. Um, what were they trying to do? They were trying. They, do with the three? they were trying to just factor it out and just make it look nicer, mm -hmm. but they can't do that because of how um, the two different questions are two different things entirely. Because it sorry? just won't. Yeah, I'm having a hard yeah. time. It's just hard. It is yeah. hard. Okay, here's what they did. Can you take a three out of there? Can you take a 3 out of a 3x and a 6? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can take a 3 out. You're left with an x plus 2. Okay? But, see that square right there? It still applies to everything. So if we were to write a step in between, we should write this. So you can pull the 3 out, but you better put that in brackets. And we could do one more thing to simplify it. I could write x plus 2 quantity squared. So the exponent applies to everything that it's over. So it applies to the x plus 2, and it applies to the 3. So what could I write out front to do this correctly? I could write a 9. Okay. So I can factor the 3 out, but then I'd have to square it because that 3 would have an exponent of a 2. So this is the right way to do it. You can factor it out, but you better make sure that the exponent still applies to it. That's why that's wrong. It should be a 9. Okay. All right. That's a tough one. Okay, uh, Noah, you're up next. Okay, we'll make a little more space here. All right, there you go. What's wrong with that one? Okay, so on this one, they tried to have a common numerator instead of a denominator. Um, so, right, whoops. There we go. You can. So, I had a example just a sec I need you to see this it small I'll make it small yes there you go. now you can see everything thank you okay so with this one just equals 1 over 2 plus 3 this one you have to find common denominators and I think it equals 5 over 6. So, so it's not equal. So the, the left side would be 1 fifth and the other side would be 5 6. There's no way the two of those are equal. That's not a proper way to break up a fraction. Okay? You, you can't do that. As much as it would be nice if you could, you can't. We're going to see a little bit later on. There are ways that you can break up fractions that are really helpful. Okay? And uh, Cameron, why don't you come up and do yours? So, um, they did wrong was, well, I thought they were equal to, because if you uh, multiply the b, which would make it x be b over 1, so it would be bx over a does equal that. So, so that's their mistake, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's the right way to do it? You know? Uh, no. Okay, all right. So this, this has a name. Does anybody know what this was called? Because we actually talked about this right here. Let's just look at this guy right here. It has a name. What's it called? It's called a complex fraction. It's called a complex fraction. Now, this is a very common mistake also. Okay, Those are not equal to each other. Here's the right way to do of it. Do this. And if you think of it this way, in the long run, you're going to be in better shape. Most people do not like fractions. But if there is a fraction in a problem, you're better off thinking of everything as a fraction. 
Okay? If there's a fraction in the problem, let, let's think of everything as a fraction. So let's do x over a, and then let's think of b. Now, is b all by itself a fraction? Could you make it a fraction? Yeah, put it over a 1. You can make everything a fraction by putting it over a 1. Now, I've got this fraction divided by that fraction. Do you ever divide by fractions? Nope. You flip it over and you multiply. So we'd uh, flip this one over. So the problem that they had, the mistake that they made, is they multiplied by b over 1 instead of 1 over b. They should have flipped that denominator and multiplied. So that would put an x on the bottom and, sorry, an x on the top and an ab on the bottom. Okay? All right. Uh, we will pick up right there tomorrow with Destiny. Three sixes due tomorrow. You could take a look at three seven, but three seven won't be due tomorrow. Okay?